Hey, Bill, exactly. It's a great test for John Milge Academy tonight. Yeah, they've dominated the GISA the last few years in their three consecutive state titles, but now they're taking on a team that's joining the GIAA and the Stratford Eagles. So it's time to test. Is John Milge Academy actually that legit of a team or is the GISA that weak at the moment? We'll find out as they take on the Eagles tonight here in Macon. Exciting night at Stratford Academy as it was Military Appreciation Night. Now let's go to the Trojans' first play of the game from scrimmage. Quarterback breaks Edie with the snap. He fakes the handoff, goes outside to the left, gets the sideline, comes back in, and he's about to go down, but no, he keeps his balance, and he is taken down inside the 15-yard line, and the Trojans would take advantage of the big gain as a few plays later. Jalen Butts gets the handoff, and he makes his way to the outside pylon, and he runs it in for the touchdown as the point after is good. Trojans lead 7-0. Now next drive for the Trojans, it's fourth down, and they're going for it, and Edie keeps it himself. Oh, that's an easy conversion, and he would go down inside the five. Trojans once again take advantage. This time, Javion Butts gets it, and he runs it in for the touchdown. Point after would be good, and Trojans lead 14-0 at halftime. Second drive of the second half, this time James Grove gets the handoff and he has a free lane as he goes for the 47 yard play, the biggest play for the Eagles of the game. And then a few plays later, quarterback Billy Noblet finds Eli Miskall wide open for the touchdown. Point after is good and now Trojans lead 14 to seven. Now to the final drive of the game for Stratford, four down, the pass is batted, but because it's a backwards pass, it counts as a lateral. So the Trojans pick it up and would run it in and that would seal the deal as they win 21 to seven. Can't say enough about the way this defense played, the way this offensive line played. You know, these guys came out and grinded this thing out. Um, we hadn't had the ground went out a long time, but these guys came out and did a great job. Um, you know, can't say enough about the program. Chance Jones got over here at Stratford. He does a great job with those guys, but super proud of our guys and, and the way they found a way to win tonight. Well, the Trojans proved tonight they are still that team to beat in the GIAA. However, they're not going to win their battles as easily as they are used to, but it's going to be a tight one for the state title this year. Trojans back in action next week hosting FPD, while the Stratford Eagles will host the Mount DeSales Cavaliers. That's all I've got for you, Bill. Back to you.